The natural world described to us by the physicists contains phenomena, whose nature is so bizarre that they are incomprehensible to the common mind. They tell us that time and space are relative, and that if you travel fast enough through space before returning to Earth, then you might be younger than your children. They tell us that one particle can be at two different places at one time. They say that objects which are massive enough, not only cause a gravitational pull on its surroundings, but actually bends the fabric of space-time, so it is more correct to think of the sun as causing a curvature in space-time, and the Earth sort of rolling around the sun. They also speculate that there can be particles of zero mass, whatever that means. Among physicists there is a saying that captures this, you never understand a new theory, you just get used to it. How are we to understand these things? Let alone believe in them? Well, ponder this for a second. A relatively experienced person may have experienced temperatures from minus 30 to plus 40 degrees Celsius. The possible variance in nature is from minus 273 degrees to an astronomically high positive number. If the person is lucky, he or she might live to be a hundred years old. The universe is estimated to have been around for 13.7 billion years, and who knows for how much longer. If the person lives by sea level, the pressure there will be one atmosphere, slightly less on a mountain, and a few atmospheres 10 meters below the surface in water. The universe offers everything from almost total vacuum to extremely high pressures. The weight of the objects in the surrounding of that person may vary from 1 gram per liter of air, to 19.3 kilos per liter of gold. Total vacuum weigh nothing, and one liter of matter in a black hole weigh absurdly much. There is only a limited range of radiation which is visible for us, that is visible light. The range in the radiation spectra is far greater. The next level beyond visible light, is infrared light in the one end and ultraviolet in the other. Almost everybody alive today, has ever not felt the gravitational pull of the Earth and will never feel the pull from other planets. The variance in the universe is from very little to the immense forces near a black hole. We also experience objects such as chairs, tables, dogs or other people to be solid. However, the volume they fill are really almost empty of matter on the subatomic level. These and other examples show that our experience with the physical world is very limited. What we perceive to be logical or common sense is based on our perception of the physical world, and our personal experience with causality. However intelligent we may be, it seems reasonable to think that our experience of the world simply is not sufficient to supply us with a logic on a higher level. A logic which might make these phenomena comprehensible to us all. So even if we do not really comprehend the world today, almost on an emotional level, we can at least comprehend that it can be uncomprehendable.